My brothers and sisters, I want to start with a question. If you had a plant and you put that seed in the soil and the plant instructions told you you have to keep it near the sunlight, you have to keep it in a cool place and you have to water it in the morning and in the evening and you have to uh, get this type of soil or that type of soil and constantly look after it until it grows and then you have to prune the, uh, its branches and its leaves and so on and so forth. And then I come to you and I say to you, listen, don't listen to those instructions. Don't worry about watering it. Don't worry about putting it next to the sunlight or doing any of that. And I told you, plants have a sense that if you talk to them, they'll grow. There's some science about it, but if I just told you, listen, because they can hear you, just sing to them, talk to them, and show some love. Just have the intention and keep thinking very hard. And the plant will sense your thinking. And you don't have to do any of the watering. And it will grow in front of you. It will grow and it will blossom and give you fruits. Would you believe me? Would you go? And because I gave you some signs that plants can feel... And you just talk to them and then thought about it. Will that make the plant grow? What will eventually happen to the plant? It'll die. What if I said it and felt it and talked with a passion? Passionately and very strongly. But I didn't water it. I didn't give it the means. Will it still grow? No, it won't grow. We all understand the answer to that. If you wanted to apply for a job and you didn't give the right qualifications that are needed. They asked you to do, go and do a course, you didn't do that course, you don't have the experience. You didn't go and ask about how an interview works, you did not do your studies, and then you go for an interview by merely making a dua. But you don't have the resources, you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the experience. And then you went to that interview and you said, I have no qualifications, no experience, I've done nothing, but I just made a dua and I passionately, passionately, passionately have wanted this job all my life. What is the likelihood of you getting this job? Maybe zero. Maybe a few, maybe one or two percent. Would it make anyone with their own sane mind, would they tell you yes? You can go get a job just by passionately desiring it? No. But another example. You want to become a surgeon, a neurosurgeon. And they tell you you've got to study for it and do and so on. And you never study. You didn't go to any of the courses. Maybe you got accepted into the course. No studies, no reflection. Just doing whatever you want. Partying. Going and doing your desires and hobbies. Just living life. And then the exam time comes. And then you say, Sheikh, Sheikh, teach me a dua so I can pass my exams. And then you come and sit down and you make that dua. Yalla. Are you going to pass? You're not going to pass at all because you don't know anything about it. The body, if you passionately, passionately want to become a neurosurgeon, can you become one just by not putting the effort? No. No sane person will tell you that. Tayyib, let's say you fell in love with someone. And you passionately, passionately, passionately want to marry them. But you saw all the red flags, you saw all the signs, they mistreated you, but you love them. You passionately want them. Everybody told you stay away. You don't decide to think about the means and the causes. But because you passionately want that person, and then you married them anyway, and your marriage became toxic and hell. But you made a dua and you made a stikhara. Who do you blame? If I made dua and istikhara and I made it passionately, but I knew this person was toxic and bad, everything about them. 
But because I made dua and istikhara and put my trust in Allah fully with absolute passion, what's the likelihood of my marriage working out in that way? Think in common sense here. Is the dua and istikhara going to be enough in that way? It's not, is it? Because dua and istikhara has conditions. And istikhara means, Oh Allah, if you know this is good for me in my deen, in my hereafter, and in my livelihood, then grant it to me. If you know it's bad for me, keep it away from me. For you know and I do not know. Tayyib, I know this person in every way, shape and form is not good for me. And then I do the istikhara. And then I hear the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ saying, إِنْ جَاءَكُمْ مَنْ تَرْضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَخُلُقَهُ فَزَوِّجُهُ Whoever comes to you of a man who, who is satisfied with their religion, their deen, and their khuluq, and their character, then marry him. Why would the Prophet ﷺ tell us these ingredients, and then I sit back and I ignore it all, and say, I will make passionate dua, and inshallah, I will get what I want. Do you think that's correct to think that way? No. There are means, and there is dua. There are processes, and then there is the intention, the passion, and the outcome. They go hand in hand. My beloved brothers and sisters, as a Muslim, success comes not only from careful planning, but from taking decisive action. While making plans is essential, it is equally important to act on them with determination. The Quran emphasizes the importance of both faith and action. Allah says, indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change what is in themselves. This means that we must take the steps necessary to bring about the change we seek combining our intentions with effort procrastination is one of the biggest obstacles to success instead of waiting for the perfect moment start with small actions today whatever it's in business personal growth or worship taking consistent action builds momentum and brings progress the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, The most beloved of deeds to Allah are those that are consistent, even if they are small. Sahih al-Bukhari. This teaches us that even small steps, when taken consistently, lead to a great outcomes. Finally, trust in Allah's plan while doing your part. Success is not just about working hard, but also about having tawakkul. Once you have put in the effort, rely on Allah for the results. The balance of faith and action is what makes us successful Muslims. Allah rewards both our intentions and our efforts. So work hard and keep your trust in Him for the best outcomes. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.